Hey everybody, it's Erica. I'm here with Not Your Facebook Friday with uh, Bobo sale details. Let's see, my camera's a little high. Let's see if I can, if I can make it go down a little bit. You guys can see, why won't that go down? There we go. You can see behind me all kinds of stuff. Usually my counters are clean. Well, at least they look like they're clean. <laughs> but today I have all my BOGO stuff. I am going to, let's see, you know, as soon as I went live, well, right before I went live, I clicked the Facebook on my iPad. That's how I see your comments. And it's updating. You know, why? Anyhow, I am not going to waste too much of your time. I'm just going to open this up so I can see. So tomorrow, starting tomorrow, around 10 a.m., I am going to list all of my retired products here on Facebook. And it's my online BOGO sale. Um, if you've never done a BOGO sale before, it's buy one, get one free. That's what that stands for. And so usually in years past, I've done it at my house. I set it all out. Everything is priced regular price. So whatever it was in the catalog, it's priced close to that. Um, sometimes, if it's missing a stamp, I'll go down a couple dollars. Maybe um, I have several of them, so I discount a little bit. But most of it is listed right around catalog price. So you would come to my house. You would walk through all the tables, pick up all the things that you want, and then we would total it. And it maybe, let's say, it's $100. Well, it's going to be free, all right? That's the free part when you order $100 of new product. So you're buying new product, you're getting my retired product for free. All right, now this can be confusing. It seems simple <laughs> until you start doing it and then you get kind of confused. So that's why I always like to make a video so I can explain it. I also am gonna have it all typed up. I sent out an email today uh, with all the information. Um, so hopefully there will be no confusion this time. There probably will be. Sometimes I even get confused. Um, but I thought I would run through it. So y'all can't come to my house, right? We're all over the country, <laughs> unfortunately. But if you were, that's how you would do it. You would shop the retired stuff, figure out the total, and then order that much new stuff. So how do we do that online? Well, I spent the last six weeks <laughs> photographing, individually photographing all of that stuff. Pricing it, uh, photographing it turning the photos, I, no matter how I take it, it's always sideways or the wrong direction. And tomorrow, around 10 a.m., I'm gonna upload those photos in albums. There's gonna be a stamp album, there's gonna be a bundles album, there's gonna be punches and tools, no, maybe it's just punches, <laughs> dies and tools, I don't know, tools is in with either the punches or the dies. There will be an embellishment album, there will be a ribbon album, and there will be a paper pumpkin slash kit album, okay? So I, I have tried my best to alphabetize the stamps and bundles. Um, it, and when I say alphabetize, I mean like I put all the A's together, I put all the B's together, all the C's together. Um, so if you're looking for something specific, you can scroll through. Now, with MBAs, they're not alphabetized. <laughs> Just know that they're grouped by the letter that they start with. Um, because that's where I have really the most stuff. Um, oh, and there's a paper album. I forgot to tell you there's a paper album. I have a lot of paper. So you'll go through, and as you're going, when you find something that you want, you comment sold. Okay? Just do it, sold. You're also going to write down on a piece of paper exactly what you've written, or what you've typed sold on. If you don't do that, you're going to forget, because there, I mean, I think there's thousands of photos. There's a lot. So make sure that you write down on your piece of paper what you um, commented sold and how much. When you're all done and you have your little list, you're going to click on this link and it will be it will be on every photo tomorrow, that link, okay? You click on that link and it takes you to a Google form. I'm going to ask you for your name, your address, your email address, the items that you chose, and the total. Then you wait, okay? You have to let me get your form and go pull all your stuff to make sure I have it. Because guess what, you guys? I'm human and I do make mistakes. Um, every year there seems to be something that disappears or something that was sold without being marked sold. So every now and then there's something not there 
okay? Um, actually, believe it or not, it doesn't happen all that much, but it does happen. So once you submit that form telling me what you want, I go and I pick it all out, right? And I put it all together, I total it, make sure it's all good, and then I send you an email. And I say, hi Susie, thanks for shopping my retired stuff. The total was $100. So you have 24 hours to put in an order for $100 over at stampnap.com. Um, this stuff is actually free when you put that order in. However, I, you, I am gonna ask you to, uh oh, it ended on my computer. I hope you guys are still there. I'm going to ask you to pay the shipping from me to you. I try to ship in flat rate envelopes or flat rate boxes. Um, <laughs> you guys tell me if you're still there because it ended on my computer and I don't know why. But I can still see you guys and it still says I'm live. So let me see. Are we there? Are we there? Are you guys there? It says I'm live. Okay, it looks like I'm live. Okay, good. Denise is still there. Oh, I was going to try to make this clean with no interruptions. Darn it. All right, so then you're going to wait for my email, and I email you, and I say, I've got all your stuff. Totals 100 Go shop. Spend $100. I'm going to send you an invoice for the shipping of this stuff that you picked out. I'm going to ship flat rate or cheapest shipping we can get. Flat rate usually is cheapest because no matter how heavy it is, it's $8 for the envelope. The box, when you get up to the box, it's 14 um, then when you get the large box, it's like 19, but most people can get everything in either the medium box or the envelope. So it, within 24 hours, you have to go do your shopping, your real shopping, and you have to pay that shipping invoice. And then once you do that, I seal it, label it, and it goes out to you. Literally, I'm going to mail these things to you within 24 hours of getting your orders. So does that make sense? You're buying real product. You're getting my stuff for free, except you're paying the shipping. But please wait. Let me pick all your stuff and make sure. Um, here's a few things. It gets crazy. I will get like 30 forms filled out in one minute, it feels like. So then it takes me a couple hours to pull all those orders, to check everything, to email you. So um, I say give me 24 hours. It'll be less than 24 hours unless something god forbid happens and i don't know something but it will be you know within a few hours that i'll be emailing you most likely of course in the evening too it'll take until the morning um but once you get that email from me you have 24 hours to put in your order and to pay your shipping um i will send an invoice via paypal unless you tell me you don't have paypal then i can send it via square okay and square is just a credit card processing um site that you can just use your credit card um, okay, so let's see. I'm going to go through here and make sure you have 24 hours, no exceptions. If you have marked sold and it's 24 hours and you haven't filled out the form, I'm going to delete your sold so that somebody else can, can snag it. If somebody has put sold on something and you want it, you can put next. And so that means if that person doesn't follow through, I'm going to reach out to the next person and see if they want it. Um, there is a host code attached to this. You have to use the host code, okay? Um, it will be on the top of all the pictures. Um, you are getting free stuff over here. So even if you spent $200 at Stampin' Up, if you didn't use the host code, you'd get $20 in product credit. But if you use my host code, you're going to get $200 in free product. It's a better deal to use that host code and place the order as a BOGO order. So you have to use the host code. The shopping link, hopefully, when it takes you to stampinup.com, will automatically apply that host code, hopefully, if technology works. Um, okay, things to remember, wait for my email. Most of my things are used, okay? And you guys know I stamp all day, every day. So a lot of them have been used. Um, there are things in here that are new. Um, for whatever reason, sometimes I end up with three or four of the same thing, like dies. Um, if there's a die that I use a lot, I will have three or four sets of it because it helps me prepare for my classes. So you'll see sometimes there's three sets of the same dies. Um, sometimes stamp sets, before I can give them away as prizes, they retire. So I may have two or three of the same stamp set and they're all new. Um, I, You know, I would say 50-50 is about... 50% of the stamp sets are probably new. Um, I get so many to give away as prizes and then the catalog expires and, and I, and I don't, can't give them as prizes anymore. Or I just want to give you guys new stuff. 
Um, okay, so, but expect it, just expect it to be in used condition. I'm not going to send you something that's not going to work. I'm not going to send you something that's junk. It's still going to have years of life left on it, okay? Anything that is that I trashed, I trashed. I'm not going to try to send you something that is trashed. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, orders placed during BOGO do not count towards your stampers reward card. Those of you that have my frequent punch card, this order doesn't apply to that um, because you're getting so much for free already. Uh, let's see. The offer is only available tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. I will pull the albums down about 10 o'clock on Thursday night, so make sure you are done before then. I will not put in your online order, your, your actual order. I won't put that in for you. You have to do that, and the only reason I say that is because I've gotten burned by doing that. So usually I'm happy to help, but during this crazy time, you have to put your online order in yourself. Um, let's see, if you're confused, email me. Please be patient with me. It's a crazy three days for me. Literally, I will work from get up to go to bed on this. It's a lot of work. Um, paper pumpkin kits. I do, I saw somebody ask about paper pumpkin kits. Um, I got a lot of them. And they include everything that originally was in the paper pumpkin kit. So if it had a stamp set and an ink spot, it's in there. Um, if you're not sure, I actually printed out a photo of each of the paper pumpkin kits and put them on top of the box before I photographed it. But you can also Google the name of the paper pumpkin kit and you will find all kinds of pictures of what it looks like. Same with the dies, same with the stamps, stamp set. If the picture isn't great, remember, I took thousands of pictures. So they're not the best photo quality, okay? I was in you know, trying to get it done fast. So it's not great quality. Some of them maybe, but not all of them. So if you can't see if there's a glare or something, go over to the next tab, Google it, you'll see it, okay? Um, paper pumpkin, back to paper pumpkin. They can ship, I can ship a paper pumpkin box. Like, you know how I sell my paper pumpkins every month. I can ship that for about $4. However, if you want to buy several of them and some other things, if we take your paper pumpkin kit out of the box, I can put it all in, you know, the flat rate, either envelopes or boxes to save you shipping. So um, if you're okay with me taking your paper pumpkins out of the boxes, let me know because that will save you on shipping. Oh, I have a lot of paper that's 12 by 12. And 12 by 12, the only way to ship 12 by 12 paper is in a medium flat rate box, and that is $14. Now you can pack that sucker with a lot of paper and a lot of stamps for $14. Um, but if you pick out one thing of 12 by 12 paper, um, you know, I, do, I take that back. I do have some boxes that will fit three packs of 12 by 12 paper. So if you get less than three packs and nothing else, it has to be flat. I have a record, record boxes that I can ship those, but you, you can't get anything else in there. So if you get 12 by 12 paper, we'll talk about the shipping. Guys, I'm not going to try to gouge you on the shipping. I'm going to try to do the cheapest shipping I can for you. Um, I have multiples of items. I said that, oh, sometimes, um, like I have a host set from last year and I have like 15 of them or 12 of them or something. So instead of taking 12 photos, I took a picture with the stamp set and then a post-it note that says however many I have available. So let's say, I don't, can't remember, let's say it's 10. 10 people can comment sold on that until they're all gone. I did that on a few things, but then there are some things that I did take individual pictures and I tried to number it like paper packs. Um, the Brights paper specifically, Brights number one, Brights number two, Brights number three. So you'll see there are several of that. I don't know. I just did it differently both times. So if you see multiple available, multiple people can comment sold on that. I am not seeing any comments. So if you guys are commenting, I'm not sure what's happening. I'll go back and look in just a second. I'm almost to the end. Um... I'll have a Facebook Live on Monday. That's today. Make sure you watch it if you need more clarification. And this paper. You can read through it. I've done my very best to try to explain everything on the PD, on this PDF. It will be linked tomorrow with everything. It was sent out in my email today. It will be on my blog. Um, remember, here's one thing I do want to say. None of You can't buy outright buy any of this. I'm not selling it. It's all free. Okay, um, you can only get it free with an equal order. Now, BOGO, there's a weird play on words there too. So buy one, get one free. Now that 
that's a little misleading. It's really buy this amount of money, get this amount of money free. So you know what I'm saying? If you pick out two stamp sets, you don't have to go order two stamp sets. Let's say the stamp sets equal $35. All you have to do is put in an order for $35. I don't care what you order. I'm not going to even look to see what you guys are actually ordering. As long as I see that um, amount before shipping and tax is the same amount as the free stuff you picked out, then we are good. Okay? All right. Let me, um, I think I saw a question. Somebody asked, was there a minimum amount you had to order? And the answer to that is no. All right. Let's see if I can get my comments. Oh, don't you hate seeing yourself? <laughs> um, okay, so Denise is helping me out. Dollar for dollar. Thank you, Denise. It's confusing. Dollar for dollar. So if you picked out $20 in product over here for free, then all you have to spend is $20 over there. And you can, again, buy anything you want. You can buy all envelopes. You can buy whatever you want, okay? Um, okay, good. You guys still here, still here. It's delayed when I... It's so weird because it said the video had stopped. Um, and I'm not even seeing that comment now. Denise, I'm glad you're here. If you see a comment that I'm not seeing, please answer them. Denise is my assistant and she's very smart. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak. Okay, here's another deal. There are no holds. So if you see something today when I'm talking to you, please do not email me and say, can you hold such and such for me? I wish that I could, but you guys, it's just too crazy. I, I, can't, I can't pull anything for anybody. Um, and you, and you know, you're going to have time. Don't feel like frantic at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's going for three days. There is a lot of stuff here. All right, so let's start over here. I have a few bundles. I tried to put bundles together and give you the bundle price. There may be, I don't know, I may have slipped and put a stamp set over here and the dies over here, but I don't think so. Um, here are the, the punch bundles. And then look, these are all the dies that I have that don't go with stamp sets. So like the Wild Rose dies, they do have a stamp set that coordinates with it, but I don't have it. I bought several of the die sets to help cut for a class that I had. Um, I've got some embossing folders. And then this box right here and that box, these are bundles. Um, so I've got the bundle price on it. And if anything is missing, I hopefully have noted it in the photo. There wasn't a whole lot. I actually did pretty darn good this last year. That most of this stuff is from the last 12 months, but there are things in here that are older, um, like that. That's pretty old, isn't it? I don't even know what that goes with. Oh, that goes with that flower, that flower dye. Um, so anyway, all of this is photographed and over there, and I have multiples of some bundles. And you guys, again, remember I said I'm human. So if you see something that is not retired, don't be surprised. Denise usually does a good job. She'll come and go through my stuff, but we didn't do it in person this year, so she didn't get a chance to do that for me. So if you see something that isn't retired, which I actually found something today, just let me know. I'm not trying to do anything weird, and I'm not going to get rid of anything that's current. So if you see something that's current, just say, hey, you've got this over there. It's hard with this much stuff to remember what's current and what's not. So these are stamp sets. These are all stamp sets. And I only have, I think I only have one wood set right there that touches of texture. Everything else is cling mount or clear mount. All right. I mean, there are, I was, I was going to count and I didn't count. There's a bunch, a ton. All right, so those will be in their own album. And then punches, I've got some punches. Now punches are heavy, you guys. Um, but remember, if we do flat rate shipping, it doesn't matter um, the weight. All right, embellishments out the wazoo. I've got embellishments. <laughs> sometimes I order too many for a class and then I'm stuck with them. Um, sometimes I order more than I think I'm gonna, than I end up needing. Remember these? Oh my gosh, I bought a ton of these that went with that paper pumpkin, and then I never used them. I never did anything with them. But look, so I have a bunch of them. You can see this is number eight. This is number nine. This is number ten. I have them numbered. So when you put sold, you can put, you know, snail kit number 12 or whatever. Look, I've got a bunch of these. These were celebration a couple of years ago. Um, my neighbor actually <laughs> came over and said, can I give you some stuff for your BOGO sale? 
She had some old Stampin' Up! stuff that, I mean, I think it was almost before my time. Crocodile. Um, yes, Carla, I'm going to have so much room. My husband is going to have so much room in the garage. He's begging you, please shop my BOGO sale. <laughs> please. All right, so ribbon. I have found the easiest thing to do with ribbon because I have so much in partial rolls and stuff. I just put them in lots. Um, so you'll see how many. It'll say if all the ribbons are brand new, unopened, it'll say all new. All right, some of them will say um, partial. Let's see. I actually found more ribbon today that I need to, that I haven't priced. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. So like this one, um, in color, I put all the in colors together. And you can see those aren't new. All right, and that would be in a lot. Um, here's the paper pumpkin kits. <laughs> Oh, I got quite a few paper pumpkins. Um, here's six by six paper. Some are new. Let's see. Some I sorted out and tried to put, like I just, because I use these for classes, for Facebook Friday. So I would have, you know, all, maybe I bought 10 packs and I have all the Bermuda uh, Bay, but I don't have all the Daffodil Delight. I sorted them all out so they were kind of equal, all the partial packs. And this one, look, this one is almost two complete packs. Um, there is partials. There's also the new, let's see. Oh, remember this paper? I ended up with a lot of this paper, and I love that paper, that Christmas paper. Um, I actually have some of this butterfly paper that was so difficult to get. Remember, it's sold out. I have some of that. I have some, oh, a lot of that paper. Um, let's see what else, what else? 12 by 12 paper. Most of the 12 by 12 paper is going to be a partial lot where I've used maybe one or two pieces from each pack. Some of them are new. Um, some of them it'll say like, this is a large mixed, you know, it's got more than 12 pieces, but they're not all 12 by 12. You know, I've cut down some pepper. No, I, um, yeah, you know, I try to make mix them up so that it's a good mix. It's like a garage sale. All right, so I've got a lot of that. Um, I've got a couple of paper shares, or maybe just one paper share. Um, I've got a partial kit. Oh, look. Don't worry, I'm keeping one of those. That's my favorite. Um, paper, 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 a little bit of cardstock. And I think that's it. <sighs> You guys got to help me clear it out, okay? Remember, everything is free with an equal order. Pepper wants to say hello. Say hi, Peps. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> she thinks I'm talking to her. She says, please shop my mom's BOGO sale so my dad will stop getting mad that all this stuff is in his garage. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Let me know if you have any more questions, if I didn't cover anything. If um, I was confusing, just remember this PDF. I sent it out. It'll be on my blog tomorrow. And um, I guess that's it. Thanks, you guys. Happy shopping. And I will post everything tomorrow about 10 o'clock Central. Okay? All right. You guys have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.